Hi folks, I'm David Washington, founder and president of DJ Watch 5 with a very important announcement. Um, our announcer, Charlie Martin, is not here with us for the next two weeks. He's in Albuquerque, New Mexico on special assignment and he shall be making some phone calls and leaving messages to tell us about his travels in Albuquerque. In the meantime, we found a replacement for the, for the prior two weeks. We have two new announcers who know the ropes about the business. So here we go with the round table. For, for Friday, October 5th, 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Philadelphia, it's time for the round table. On tonight's show, Dave and the gang will be talking about movie prices, 1930s to present. What a wonderful way to start a nice show. And now, here is your host, founder and president of DJ Wash 5, David Washington. Thank you, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. I'm David Washington, welcoming you to the roundtable for Friday, the 5th of October, <laughs> 2012. And we're so pleased to announce we have an announcer with us, Rod Roddy. How are you doing, sir? Oh, I'm doing very good, David. What a wonderful way to start a program. <laughs> I know. Anyway, um, first let's say, let's rejoin our gang again. We have Chuck Strongbacks. Hi there, David. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Chuck. What have you been doing the past week after our show? Resting up for a new one, Dave. That sounds good, Chuck. And here's Chuck Davidson. Hello there, Chuck. Hey, Davey Baby, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. I like that DJ voice of yours. You should be on WKBW Radio, my friend. I know. I wish they haven't canned me. Yeah. Here's David Roxborough. Hi there, David. It is nice to be back in Philadelphia soil. <laughs> yeah. And last but not least, my main man, Mr. Tom Barracroft. Hello there, David. It is nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too. How's, you got, how's your Albuquerque trip, folks? Well, David, it was a great trip. We all like it. And the flight attendants were very lovely. That's good. Well, we're just getting started with our newscast. Can you say can you guys say hi to Rod Roddy, our replacement announcer? Hey Rod. How are you doing, Mr. Roddy? It is nice to hear your voice again, Rod Roddy. You know, your voice is more powerful than me, my friend. I bow down to you. Ha <laughs> ha Thank you very much, fellas. <laughs> All right. Well, um before we do any stuff, before we do our news um, program here, the Friday Night News. The Friday Night News? When did you change that? Since last week. The Friday Night News. What do you think of it? Hmm, sounds very catchy. I know. Me and Chuck told him, talked about it earlier, so saying, why not? The Friday Night News and the weekend weather. The weekend weather? I like that. It's a nice ring to it. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, um, speaking of Albuquerque, um, Charlie Martin, our announcer, is there right now, and he left us a message on the KDJW telephone. You have one unheard message. Hello there, folks. This is Charlie Martin, the, um, you know, the announcer for the David Show and the new program, The Roundtable. Um, I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico right now. I'm be able to stay for the next two weeks because um, there is an Albuquerque balloon fiesta. And boy, I can hardly wait to see it. I've never been inside of a hot air balloon. Well, I'll be back in Philadelphia in the next two weeks on the third or fourth Friday. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and say hello to all the friends out there for me. Okay? So long, folks. End of message. Wow, that's very good, David. Yeah. Well, yep, Charlie Martin is not with us, but we have Rod Roddy in his absence. You know it, David. Come on down. <laughs> I like that. Come on down. Well, in the meantime, here's the news with Mr. Tom Bettercroft. Take it away, Tom. <clears throat> Anytime, David. The New England Patriots have resigned 
re-signed veteran linebacker Bobby Carpenter. The move was one of four made by the team on Wednesday when it released defensive lineman Terrell McLean and a tight end Al Alex um, Silvero Silvestro, yeah, Alex Silvestro, to the practice squad and release offensive line man Thomas Austin from this practice squad. The Patriots have the Patriots had released Carpenter on the final cut of training camp on uh, September 1st after signing him as a free agent following two seasons with the Detroit Lions. He entered the end. FL as the 18th pick in the 2006 draft by the Dallas Cowboys, spending four years with them. Then he started the 2012 season with the Miami Dolphins before moving to Detroit. Now, Mr. Bobby Carpenter <laughs> has started 10 of his 89 pro games. <laughs> How about that? For the Friday Night News, I'm Tom Barracroft. David, I never heard that before. I know. This is our new one of the new additions to the Friday Night News. You like it? Like it? Heck, I love it. You should do that every night. Whatever you say, sir. And now it's time for the weekend weather update with none other but Mr. David Roxborough. Thank you, David. Here is the nighttime forecast for Friday. Our forecast for Saturday and Sunday, Columbus Day weekend. <clears throat> in Philadelphia, partly cloudy with a low of 57 degrees in the center city area and 54 degrees in the suburbs. Saturday, a chance of showers after 2 o'clock p.m., mostly cloudy with a high of 74 degrees. Sunday, a chance of showers, cloudy with a high of 61 degrees. I am David Roxborough with your weekend weather on KDJW 1040 a.m. Well, we'll just skip right on to <clears throat> my favorite thing, the prices of movies, movie ticket prices from 1930s to present. We don't have a commercial break because we haven't got one, right, gang? You know it, David. That is darn right. <laughs> True. Now, let's begin with the 1930s. The average pricing for the movie ticket in the 1930s would be around five cents. Five cents? My gosh, you're kidding me. Shut the front door. Great Scott! What in the world? <laughs> I know, folks. That is, that, that is money right there. Can you dig it? Five, around five cents for one movie ticket, and you bring a person with you that makes ten cents, that means one dime. Whew, my gosh, what a wonderful concept. And here's the next one. The 1940s, the average price of the movie tickets in the 1940s are, in 1940, 24 cents, in 1943, 29 cents, 1945, 35 cents, and 1949, yes. 46 cents. That is 4 cents away from 50 cents. One half dollar. David, that is some ancient stuff you're talking about. That is incredible. I know. When I read it like um like two days ago before we before we aired a program, I was like astound. Like zones. That cost it cost that low back then? Money was money, honey. You know it, David. Thank you, Mr. Bearcroft. <laughs> In the 1950s, the prices for the tickets were 25 cents for kids under 12, 50 for over 12, and adults. Now that's very good and cheap there, David. Need I say more? Here is something in the 1960s. 25 cents. 25 cents in the 60s, but they move up to like, I don't know, a dollar or a dollar fifty up there. In the 1970s, the average price of a movie ticket in 1970 was $1.55. Great Scott, Dave. That is amazing. I know. Rod Roddy, do you agree with me? I agree. I said it's a wonderful price. 
I wish it was a dollar I wish it was a dollar fifty five right now. I know, Rod. Well, let's go right on with some other stuff. In the nineteen eighties, the average price of a ticket movie in the nineteen eighties. Let's go down the line here. Nineteen eighty two dollars sixty nine cents. Nineteen eighty three three dollars fifty. 1986, three dollars seventy-one cents. 1989, three dollars and ninety-seven cents. Wow, Dave, that was like two years after you were born, man. Wow, isn't that incredible? We're going up, 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 up now, going up to the tippity top. And the average price in the 1990s for a movie ticket was four dollars and. 23 cents. Now, last but definitely not least, 2000 and present. Now, I'm going to go down a list from 2001, from 2000, all the way down to today, 2012. Okay, David, take it away with that um, groovy little, um, uh, David, do you have any groovy theme music or something? Well, if I find some groovy theme music, I'll probably be able to, um, um, do it. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll just um, go down the line here with some groovy, funky music. Now, we'll just wait for the music until I'll probably say, here's a little pitch for you here. Um, the round table will be around all, away, all the way through New Year's Day 2013, where we start a new show called, yes, The, um, the David Show. So, tune in for The David Show after the radio phase has been over. Now, it's time for the ticket prices with the famous Jeopardy theme music. In the year 2000, it was $3... Sorry. <laughs> sorry. The year 2000 was $5.39. In 2001, the price went up to $5.65. In 2002, the price goes up to $5.80. In 2003, the price went up $6.03. 2004 gone up to $6.21. In 2005, $6.41. In 2006, $6.55. In 2007, $6.50. In 2008, $7.18. Whew, that's a lot of money. You can say that again. Keep on going. I will. You can do it, David. Go on, David. You can do it. Thank you. Um, 2009. The price, $7.50. 2010, $7.89. 2011, whew, $7.93. And today, 2012, $8.12. Wow, Dave, that's a lot of money. Today's price for an average movie ticket is $8.12. That's right, Mr. Strongbacks. Okay, that is it. I had enough. I'm going to... you not kidding me. Yes, I am. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Struck Chuck Strongbacks. Thank you, David. I am what I am, you know. That's all what I am, baby. <laughs> 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 oh, you know it there, Mr. Strongbacks. We're going to have some cuddling arguments right now in the next few minutes, right now. Let's begin with Chuck Strongbacks. I detest high movie prices. I'd rather go to Netflix and get my movies for at half the price. Here, here. Um, Tom Barrycroft? I have an argument. I can't stand movie prices. I'm going to boycott the movies once and for all. I don't care if my favorite movie comes on in one of those areas at all. Not even in New York, Dallas, even Paris, France. You know, they cost in francs, you know. But I don't want to go to any movie theaters ever again. I'm boycotting. Amen, brother. And, um, um, uh, Chuck Davidson, what do you say? 
Heck to the no, baby. I am not going to go spend more than $10 to get a movie ticket for only one person and spending up all that money for rich junk like cotton candy or regular candy or maybe some other stuff like popcorn and nachos. Heck no, baby. I am not going to do it. David Roxborough. David, I'm highly offended about those prices today. But I'm not. I'm not going to go to any movie theater anymore. It is. It is against my own religion. Rod Roddy. Heck to the no, baby! I am not going to go to a movie theater anymore. Well, that does it, folks, for the roundtable tonight. I want to say thanks to Rod Roddy for coming out here and share his famous pipe, saying, "Come on down, or you're the next contestant on The Price Is Right." Thank you, Rod. Anytime, David. It's nice to work with you. <laughs> That's great. For Chuck Strongbacks, Tom Barrowcroft, David Roxborough, Charles Martin, who's on vacation, and Chuck Davidson, and all of us here, I'm David Washington. Fight breast cancer. It's breast cancer month, so you better get a mammogram and start fighting right now. Good night, and God bless you. This is Rod Roddy speaking for the Roundtable, a DJ Wash Drive production. You're watching and listening to KDJW AM 1040 Philadelphia.